Now we're still continuing number 15 on our list, which is Black Dog by Lag Zeppelin. We've gone through the first two introductory riffs. In this, the last segment, we're going to go through the third one, tie it all together, and go through some exercises that'll help you play that smoothly. Let's go to the guitar. All right, so far, this is what we've covered. I'm going to play it slowly. <laughs> From there, we're going to take our index finger and put it on the fifth fret of the D string, and we're going to go to the seventh fret of the D string with our ring finger. Okay, just two or three notes. One, two, three. We're going to take these two fingers, move them down a string to the A string, fifth fret and seventh fret on the A string. Okay, then we're going to come back to the third fret of the A string. Then the open D string. And then we're going to put our index finger on the second fret of the D string and hit the open A and the D string. No. So putting that together slowly, it, kinda, it sounds like this. Pay attention to right, my right hand and what strings I'm picking, okay? Again, I'm picking the D string, the A string, open D string, and then put my finger on the second fret and hit them both together. I'll cycle that riff a couple times, okay? Now all three riffs put together slowly sound like this. I'm going to run that through a couple times so you can practice along, okay? It sounds like this. time. Now, this whole phrase answers Robert Plant's singing line almost through the beginning and then it switches keys. To speed, the three riffs put together sound like this. That's an amazing classic rock riff. It's, it's the kind of riff that you play and women just throw their clothes off at you if you just play it in front of them. So learn it and learn it well. In our next segment, we're going to take a look at Nothing Else Matters by Metallica. See you there.